The Wolfcom Third Eye comes with two different types of in-car camera mounts. The first type is the Car DVR Kit Type R, regular type. The second type is the Car DVR Kit Type C, the C stands for clip. Now let's talk about the first one. The first one is a windshield mount that I recommend using if you plan to use the Wolfcom Third Eye daily as an in-car camera system. And it would just go ahead and screw in to the back of the Wolfcom Third Eye like this. And you just go ahead and mount it into your vehicle. The second type, the Type C, is unique. And the reason why it's unique is because it's compatible with our LC1 leather case clip. And what makes it so unique is that you can use this as both an in car camera system and as a body camera. So let's say that you have a police officer who is using the Wolfcom Third Eye as both an in-car camera and a body camera, he can go ahead and quickly attach it to his windshield mount to use as an in-car camera system, and then quickly detach it to clip onto his body to use as a body camera. So that's pretty unique. Now, both of these uh, car kits, the Type R and Type C, come with um, a circuit lighter plug and a 7-foot USB cable. They also come with instruction manual, which is very important and I suggest, I suggest you read because it's going to contain important information about how to use the Wolfcom Third Eye as an in-car camera. The Type-C model comes with a dampening pad and I'll get to that in a moment. Now before using the Wolfcom Third Eye as an in-car camera, you need to program it or set the settings in a menu to car DVR mode. Otherwise, Wolfcom Third Eye won't know that it's in car DVR mode. To do that, First, make sure that the OTR switch is in up position. Next, press and hold the power button for two seconds until the unit powers on. Now, you may or may not get a password prompt. If you do, you may need to ask your admin administrator for the password. If not, go ahead and press menu to get into the menu screen. Once you're at menu, scroll down until you see car DVR mode or car mode. Press the joystick to the right to select on and then press in on a joystick to select. Once you do, the word car will appear on the bottom right of the screen, letting you know that the Wolfcom Third Eye is now in car mode and that you can use it as an in-car camera. Now, I just want to give you a quick tip. If later on you do plan to plug the Wolfcom Third Eye into your computer to transfer files, you must remove the car uh, out of the, uh, the, the Wolfcom Third Eye. In other words, you must take the Wolfcom Third Eye out of car mode Otherwise, the moment you plug it in to your computer by USB, it'll just begin recording. So you want to make sure that before plugging it into your computer to transfer files, please go back into the menu and switch it, uh, the car mode to off, and the car icon will disappear, and then you can go ahead and plug that into your computer to transfer files. Okay. Now, about the leather case and the dampening pad. Now, the dampening pad is used with the leather case to reduce vibration so that you can have a smooth video. Now the reason why there's vibration when using it without the dampening pad is because there's some play in the back of the leather case. So we solve that by including a dampening pad for you. So each dampening pad comes with a type C car kit. You get one in every car kit. Now you go ahead and peel out the back so you have the sticky side here. Go ahead and open up the Wolfcom Third Eye case. And you can go ahead and place a uh, damping pad right on the back inside the top of the leather case. Now the best way to do that is to look at these two buttons here. And you want to place the Wolfcom Third Eye damping pad about maybe a centimeter down below it in the center. And there you go. Now don't worry about the thickness of this. This is memory foam. And you can go ahead and close it. It doesn't add that much weight to it. So it's very light. And after a while, it'll conform and it'll be very thin. But what that does is it has taken up all the play. And so now when you're using it as an in-car camera, it's a very smooth video. Now, just another thing too to let you know is that once you have the dampening pad on, just leave it on. There's no need to remove it. Attach the Wolfcom Third Eye onto your windshield. Gently pull a rubber tab on the side of the unit to expose the USB port. Next. Plug in one end of the included USB port onto the USB port of the Wolfcom Third Eye. Professionally and cleanly run your wire along the window pillar on top of your vehicle 
all the way down to where your cigarette lighter plug is. Next, the other end of the USB port plugs into the cigarette lighter that we included with the unit. And just plug into the cigarette lighter and you're done.